Hello, everybody. Anybody nervous right now? No. Uh, could you all do me a favor and please stand up? Could you all change places for a minute? Just change places for a minute. Okay, stop. Sorry. I changed my mind. Go, please go back to your place. How did you feel right now? How'd you feel? What was on your mind? Musical chairs? This is bullshit. You know? <laughs> and, right? Anybody else have something a little more, you know? Um, pardon? Confused. Confused. I didn't talk. All I said was change. Okay, please sit down. Close is a good way to air ourselves out a little bit and stretch. <clears throat> Air out sounds bad. I didn't think about it. <laughs> Freudian slip. But um, the reason we have to do this, that's the way change feels. Change is not, if we don't or haven't been told what someone wants, change is uncomfortable. That's what it feels like inside. That's what it feels outside. That's what people feel when you ask them to do something different. Change is uncomfortable. So. I ask you to do that because that's what it feels like, and sometimes it's not really comfortable. So as, as we go on today with some of these great speakers, and they're all great speakers, but all of these ideas, we're getting a lot of stimulation here. So keep an open mind. Think about it this way. What if there were no rules, no regulations, no requirements? What if even the laws of physics could be broken to allow you to do whatever you want, whenever you want, today? What would that look like? What would that feel like? What if your business did not exist as it does now? And how could you change or how could you start that business over again and embrace some of the ideas that you hear about today? So change, while we all see change as being risky, change can also be what? Extremely enlightening. 